Hey there, Dory Staley here with Next Stage Drumming, drum therapist, motivational speaker, author, and mentor, coming at you today with some tips and musings to help you move forward. So I have some questions for you. Are you blocking your own success? Are you getting in your own way? You might not even know it, but if you're not moving forward, chances are there's something you're doing or not doing that's blocking your success. It's also blocking your blessings. So I'm going to use this djembe drum to show you some of the common mistakes that people make, whether um, drumming with them or coaching them. Mistake number one is they put the drum flat on the floor, you know, assuming we're doing a class or a private session. See that sound? That's a dull thud. That is just like thwack. <laughs> That's not the way it's supposed to sound. And the reason that is happening is because they're blocking the sound waves. So they're preventing the music from coming out. So if you keep it upright, hold it up and you bounce it like it's hot, then you'll get a much better sound. There we go. Another mistake that people make is they dampen the sound. Ooh, that's like playing small. Are you playing small and hold them back? And the way they do that is they put their fingertips on the top of the drum and they try to drum almost like a claw-like fashion. doesn't sound the same at all as if they were bouncing it, which would sound like this. You got to be able to, to release and, you know, use your gifts the way they were intended. Use the drum the way that it was intended. All right, ladies, I'm talking to you here. Mistake number three. Talk about playing small and hold them back. Here's a typical uh, woman coming to my one of my group classes. And well, they generally go, I'm just going to tap. This is where I live. I'm just going to tap really lightly. Nah, hit that thing. <laughs> they will get there. Obviously, I don't expect them to play like that the first time around, but tapping it lightly and holding back is not showing people your gifts and talents. It's not allowing you to be the person that God created you to be. If you haven't figured out that I'm not just talking about drumming here, that I don't know what to tell you, but yes, in drumming as in life. You need to release your gifts. Don't hold back. Stop blocking your success and don't block your blessings. Allow God and others to help you if you need help to move forward and rise up and rock. Talk to you soon.